Now one man is leading a team in the hopes of getting Jamaica to excel in a popular Commonwealth sport, lawn bowls. But what exactly is lawn bowls? When I was young, I was on TV a lot more. Walked through the park, especially Battersea Park, where I was living at the time. I was doing youth work at the centre called Bowl Line. In the summer, they'd be playing it. And I'd sit down for an hour, kind of like up to an hour or so, just watch them play. And um, I was off work. Um, about 15 years ago and I said, you know what, I'm going to go and give it a try. I've been telling my mates for ages I'm going to play bowls and blah, blah, blah. They keep coming up pestering me to come and bowl. I went down there, sort of introduced myself. So I tried it up and from there on... I've been there, I've just been playing ever since really, and that was it. You know, lawn bowls is a, is a sport that uh, is uh, sometimes, uh, I, I think, misunderstood. It came together when basically I'd been playing and then investigated about playing for Jamaica. Um, internationally, um, as I knew it was a Commonwealth Games sport, but never saw any Jamaicans play, so I just figured they didn't qualify or whatever. When I spoke to World Bowls, they said to me that basically Jamaica don't play the sport and I can't play under Jamaica because they don't have a governing body of the sport. We said we're trying to get something done to get a team in the 2018 Commonwealth Games. And we sort of came together, formed the unofficial Jamaica team, and then from there, we got things moving in Jamaica. I had a phone call about a year and a half before Gold Coast uh, 2018 uh, from an aspiring bowler from the south of London uh, that uh, wanted to create the first Jamaican bowls team. Got his uh, citizenship in, in Jamaica and was able to create the first bowls, uh, bowls association of Jamaica. The Jamaican Olympic Association then said, all right, you're now a registered member of World Bowls. Um, we've got room for two players. It was really last minute job that we managed to get in. It was like we, we only got about two, three months notice to say that we were in, get ourselves sorted to get out to Australia. Once them paperwork had come through and we pair of us hit Heathrow, check our luggage in, we just said, yeah. <laughs> it was great. Like we got there like one o'clock in the morning sort of settled in, buzzing, settled in um, our little sort of room. So I woke up, I don't know, six, seven in the morning, um, looked out the window and it's just, just, just athletes, just athletes, cycling, jogging, running. Well, I think it was great. The pair of us thought it was great. It's a shame we thought we'd have been a bit more of us, but to say, let's start slow and then move on. What I looked forward to once I sort of knew I was definitely going was the opening ceremony. You come down and you've got all the countries wearing either some of the countries, mainly most of the African ones wearing like traditional clothing, um, other countries just wearing their colours um, and you just got um, coaches, just coaches, coaches, coaches buzzing. Like to, to have that feeling inside yourself and not have anything to help you get that feeling other than an, an event. It was absolutely immense. And I said, and now Jamaica! And then he just hit the corner, just, <sighs> just crowds of people, just people. Like, I think I asked the guy, I think he said it's 35,000 people. They're just like, mad. Well, I only took part in about four games and the, because I played in the peers with Andrew. I played against Wales. It was a good, hard, tough game. The matches wasn't going too well. I was very nervous through most of them. I never really played my best. I had support from my friends and my family was still telling me, you know, it's not about the results because it's about what you've done to get there. I was elated when um, Andrew beat uh, Robert Paxton. That was absolutely brilliant. Couldn't get over that one. <laughs> So I'm playing Robert Paxton in the morning, England number one, top three in the world. And I just like, you know, just gonna just play. I was on 19, I think, and he was on about 16. And then I had two two bowls right either side of the jack, so I'm holding two, so that's the game. He's he's got his last sh shot. And I've got I still got one more bowl to play. So he's tried to drive through with power and knock the knock the little jack, the white ball, from between my two bowls. And instead of him hitting the jack, he's found the, the gap and gone through and missed everything. So I don't have to play my last one because he's got no more and that's it, 21, and I just, just, just went mad. You have the usual suspects, you have some of the top performers in the world and many of the sports that are practiced at the Commonwealth Games. But then you also have, uh, you know, the unsuspecting heroes. Um, and I think in the case of the Jamaican Lombos team and the fact that the third ranked 
player was uh, was beaten by one of the Jamaican uh, uh, players, very unsuspecting. I think is a real testament to the the power of the games to be a real equaliser. We're not there for just all right that year and then we fade out. You never see us again. We want to be in it all the time. Birmingham, uh, you know, with its with its rich history, its rich diversity, uh, its wonderful environment for. Uh, for sport uh, and just great venues and great people. So I hope to see in a strong Caribbean um, community what's in Birmingham. I hope to see some of them now actually saying, you know what, let's go and watch the balls. I'm hoping that more Caribbean islands get play. Long ball seems to be the one that um, more or less taking off and doing good. It's just it's just going to be going up and up because it's uh, more and more people are taking taking to it. But that's what that sport has done for me. And so um, I'm just glad that I'm in it um, and I'm glad that I'm Jamaican and I'm in it and I'm glad that I'm part of the Reggae Rollers. Reggae Rollers! Mm -hmm. Don't slow it quickly, titty, kitty. Life for the party, more time than go see me, me quiet. Reggae Rollers! Take time, no gender. Quick turn around like I'll change in a weather. Little fussy all way on a friend, man. Where this man this sling like a discount tear it off. A which one, whatever now. Hey, a knickknack body walk like when pin a drop. Boy, baby, in a limousine or Cadillac. Badness, them a chat, make me bring a net a shot. Sip quote, them a get a little full of hand chaps now. Gonna rise like morning sun again.